Hello guys, this is Tina. In this video, we are going to talk about polymorphic queries. And uh, yesterday, yes, yesterday I recorded some videos about uh, inheritance. And uh, when we, uh, in OO, we have inheritance and how to map into the uh, tables in relational database. And there are three ways. The first one is using single table. The second one is using the uh, joined tables. The third one is using table per concrete class. Okay. And uh, uh, since it is, uh, we have inheritance, so it has a polymorphism. And we also can write a queries, which is a polymorphic query. Okay. And uh, for this demo, mm, I already have uh, the project uh, set up already. And uh, if you don't understand about inheritance, you can take a look at my other videos, uh, which is uh, something related to inheritance, like a join table, single table, and uh, table per concrete class. And in this demo, I'm using the default. Default is a single table. Uh, here I have a count, it's abstract. Okay, and I have a checking account which is uh, extends from account. And I have the saving account, which is extends from account. So here we have inheritance. And uh, both checking and the savings account, they are a type of account. And this discriminator value is uh, because we are using single table now. We have to have a discriminator that uh, column which identify its checking and saving. And this one, this is the value for that column, okay? And uh, I have already set up something ready to save our time in the video, okay? So this is called a polymorphic query. And here I have a checking account and I have a saving account and I persist both checking and saving. Now let us uh, make a query. Okay, make a query now. So here we have a typed query. And here we are using account, okay? We are using the uh, superclass query equals uh, em dot create query. And here we are using from account, account dot class, okay? So account is a superclass, and this is a polymorphic. And uh, when we do is using query uh, list of account, and uh, accounts equals query dot get result list. We just do a system out, okay? And uh, let's run and see what's gonna happen you will see the actual return uh, 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 printed the accounts gonna be checking and the savings, not account. Okay. Because eventually when we retrieve, we are retrieve the concrete class checking and saving. Eh, eh I didn't run. Oh, 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 the thing is here. After I create, I have to call it here, right? To call it. Okay, good. And here have insert, and here have an uh, select for the accounts. And uh, then uh, when output, you can see it will output a checking and a saving account instead of account, because eventually what is stored in the account, it's gonna be checking account or saving account. We cannot have account object because account object, account class is abstract. There's, uh, we cannot create an account by using new account here because it's abstract. So the actual instance stored in this account, it should be checking or saving, okay? So when we, cre when we call two stream method, it output uh, what's inside uh, the uh, checking account and what's inside the uh, saving account. So this is the polymorphic query, and uh, uh, the source code is inside the description. We have a link. It's in the GitHub, okay? So if you have any question, leave a comment. And if you like my video, please share and subscribe. 
So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.